Hi, this is John Kenlopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. Very, very interesting case. We talk all the time that keratoconus does not advance after 40. And I'll take you back in time. This is a lady I did cataract surgery on. She's born in 1940. At the time, she was 76. Uh, nothing really remarkable here. She was uh, very, very mildly myopic. Uh, we put a um, 17 diopter lens uh, with um, uh, a clear cornea phaco. Uh, it was a T3, so with astigmatism. And when we look at her uh, corneas here, we can see that uh, she had some silent keratoconus. I mean, the uh, front part of the cornea, the Keratometry does not look suspicious, but the uh, thickness certainly looks suspicious. This is clear keratoconus in our assessment and um, uh, anterior elevation, posterior elevation are not remarkable. Why am I talking about this patient? Because she uh, appeared uh, four years later. She is 80 years old now and uh, her uh, eye, her left eye that we had treated back then has, uh, let's look at the difference, has changed dramatically. This is her in, uh, nine, in 2016 and this is her today. And this is a remarkable difference. You can see there's almost a um, uh, 12 diopter shift. Uh, let's look, uh, let's go look at the um, uh, formats refractive of today. Uh, it kind of looks like pellucid, but uh, uh, this area in particular here on a clinical exam is bulging out. Uh, it, it is a pellucid light, but still the peripheral cornea is thick enough. Uh, let's go and look at the other eye. Uh, the other eye is still um, uh, has cataract and the other eye has progressed as well. Very significant progression here from 2016 till today. So this is a progression of keratoconus in the... Um, uh, 76, then 80-year-old patient right now. And guess, after questioning the patient, what she volunteered to us, she said the eye always comes out with a ring of mucus. I grab a uh, tissue. Uh, let's uh, go again and see the classic mucus fishing syndrome wiping and wipe my eye like so all the way around to take that uh, mucus uh, ring out of my eye. And she's been doing this for the last three or four years. And of course, significant rubbing. After questioning a lot, a lot she says that she sleeps on her left hand with her eye. Uh, so here it is, evidence, uh, clinical evidence, uh, compelling evidence of uh, a uh, keratoconic progressing at this very, very advanced stage from eye rubbing. And how careful we need to be not to let this go. Let's go and finish with a formats refractive of the uh, left eye. Um, of course, what we plan to do here is we plan to cross thinking procedure, but we have to decenter the procedure to uh, be centered over the thinnest part of the cornea and obviously treat her with uh, anti-allergics, explain to her uh, mucus fishing uh, is a uh, vicious cycle and she has to um, taper that and probably her mucus fishing syndrome uh, exacerbated uh, the eye rubbing that uh, she probably did all day long and probably all night long in her sleep as well. So here you go, a uh, keratoconic patient. Uh, she was 20-20 in 2016 after her procedure. She is currently 2400. And obviously if we cannot contain the ectasia, we will have to um, entertain the possibility of a cornea transplant, but uh, We'll soon treat her other eye as well to halt the ectasia. And again, this is not a 20 year old Greek uh, patient that we're talking about, young gentleman. This is a 76 year old back in 2016, 80 year old today, Greek lady. Thank you so much for your attention.